We asked Phil Lanzon, is it still Uriah Heep? I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. A lot of bands are left with one original member. In this case, Mick Box is the only guy left in Uriah Heep from the original lineup. So we asked their keyboard player, Phil Lanzon, is it still Uriah Heep? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just laugh at him like I'm laughing at you now. I mean, <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> um, you know, Uriah Heep is, is a sound. Uriah Heep is um, a piece of musical history that came out in the early 70s. And that piece of history still has a stamp on it which is still the same principle, or should I say the same blueprint as it was in its origins. The fact that um, small things change over decades is inevitable because if you stayed exactly the same, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have existed to this day. And uh, it's only the fact that we introduced new material to keep our fans alive and, and they, they always, they're always asking for the next album and, and when's the next album going to be? So that's, that's not enough proof. I don't know what is. Uh, Judas Priest... And the North American tour. You guys have gone out together before. Um, well, we did. We did a big festival last summer. Um, as far as playing together, that's the only time we played together. Was was that big festival in Europe last summer, and that was a, a great success. And um, I know that uh, I know that Priest are keen to tour with with another UK type band, and and that's why I think we got the thumbs up. Also, there's a very there's a bit of a strong bond between the two bands as well. Uh, well, basically through Dave, Rimm, our bass player, he has he's got a um, a close friend of his is the new guitarist, Richie. Well, you touched on something. Jack Tempchin, who wrote Peaceful Easy Feeling for the Eagles, he just said something to me a few days ago. He said, he said the, the 60s didn't end until about the mid-70s. Mm, right. You know? Yeah, that's, that's true. When, that, that's, that's when the, it, it started developing in the early 60s. But <clears throat> by the early 70s, it was, it was huge. I mean, well, the first time I ever went to see Genesis was in 1973. It was the loudest band <laughs> up until then I'd ever heard, and I could never imagine Genesis deafening me, but they did. Um, and it just grew and grew and grew. You know, it's just incredible. Yeah, and I think that's why uh, bands like yours and, and, and of, of the ilk, there's, there's sort of a real hunger for that, because I think there's a sense that it, it's not, you know, the, the younger bands, as good as they are, some of them, it's just not the same anymore. No, it's not. It can, and the thing is, you got to understand, it can't be the same uh, uh, anymore because <clears throat> a lot of it, apart from the musical experience and, uh, and talent that was there, it, the, the society was different. People were different. We thought differently. The world was different. Governments were different. People were different then. And they can never be the same again. Therefore, a lot of people tend to rest on the fact of, or, on the fact of nostalgia. And we all know what nostalgia means, of course. And, and a lot of the music that we remember from back then, even though it, it certainly was good, there is a nostalgic element to it, which d doubles the effect of its goodness. And, yeah, it can never be the same. It, what we have today is what we have today. And in 30 years' time, people will, will look back and say, well, hey, the, the, the 2017s weren't bad after all. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though yeah. sometimes we think it's shit. We'll have more with Phil Lanzon coming up next week. There is a link in the description to his website. He's a very prolific guy. Writes books, painter, solo career. You're right, Heap. My God. And as you can tell, he's a real nice guy. Make sure you comment on our videos. We read those comments every day. Subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification. You will not miss anything if you do that. And share our videos on social media. We'd appreciate that. And buy t-shirts, support the channel. Links in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.